Hey guys, today I wanted to go over a Korean expression you may have heard a lot. Tebak. It's usually used when you're trying to say like, oh my god, it's amazing, or like, wow. And it can be used on its own like, tebak or tebakine. And especially now, like when we're, you know, talking about the craziness of the presidential election, you may start to see people use it in negative situations or when there's a lot of shocking news that's coming out of Korea as well like really crazy stuff like not only scandals but we've covered some of this stuff people are also using tebak and you might be confused like well how can you use it in a negative situation well we're gonna go over that and I'll teach you how to use it So first of all, it's simple, it's useful, and not only that, Korean people love it when foreigners use this phrase. I think it's cheesy, but they love it. And I've seen one girl at least like get promoted because she just used this phrase over and over and over again. And because you can use it in both positive and negative situations, your margin of error is basically zero. Right? So you can almost be guaranteed success when you use this phrase. So there you go. So what does it really mean? Te pak. So pak is essentially a gourd or like a melon. So te means big. So it's like a big melon. And pak you may have heard also like in subak, which is like watermelon. Su means water. Remember the video about whether you can drink the tap water in Seoul? Well, our beautiful name for our tap water in Seoul is Adi Su. So Su Bak is like watermelon. Ho Bak is like uh, squash or pumpkin. And Ho is basically the color amber. So it's like an amber melon and then a zucchini is like a whole bak and a stands for like baby so it's like because it's green i guess it's like a baby amber melon so this visual of tebak means like a jackpot when you open up a melon it's like food and you have to kind of think of when you're really really hungry when you open up a melon it looks like a feast may not look like a feast to you know you may be some overfed americans who are used to a buffet but if you're like living in the countryside waiting for this melon to grow and finally you can open it up it looks like you hit the jackpot. So that's the kind of feeling when you say tebak, you know, it's like baboom or like, you know, when you like go fishing and you like catch a big fish, it's that feeling of jackpot. So it's when you feel like an overwhelming fullness of emotions of something that's really good, like ah, tebak. So it's kind of like you're speechless. Now, it can go in the other direction. So this is where it is like the other way when people are like confused. So like, you know, we've had like some crazy stories about like, oh my God, like, you know, uh, just disgusting stories, right? And then after hearing about like the shocking stories, like somebody might, you know, Korean person might just be like, tebak. And then, you know, you might be like, ew, why? Why are you saying that that's good? And he did not mean that it was good. He meant that he was speechless. Like the level of emotion was also full and at capacity. So really what this phrase is referring to is a fullness at capacity, like kind of like a, a rush of emotions, usually good. I would say like 70% of the time it's used as in good, but it can be the other way around where it's kind of like an overflow or like a power surge. And you can kind of tell by the way somebody uses it. Like if it's 
kind of like, dang, like, ugh, I can't believe it, or absolutely no effing way, or like I'm speechless, like, ugh, tebak, you know, that's also how they can use the, that same phrase in a positive way and also in a negative way. So that's why you can use tebak both ways. So as we keep covering this crazy presidential election, you can just be like tebak this, tebak that, tebak everything because dang, this is tebak, this is a tebak election, man. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Tune in next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Love you.